Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to The Summoning, a retro-style horror game presented by Puppet Combo. That meaning that this is not a kind of in-house development, this is done from one of the devs kind of under their umbrella, but this developer has made some previous kind of retro-style horror games, including one that I believe was maybe based off of Ski Free. Last night, there was a murder inside an abandoned house in a practically vacant neighborhood. The scene has already been cleaned, and detectives got everything they want. But the security company I work for has been hired to watch the place. Due to the nature of the crime, they suspect the house will be a gold mine for adventure seekers and vandalism. <laughs> kids. Don't you see enough death on the news and in movies? Anyway, I'm heading there now for my first shift. I'm not particularly superstitious. That house is known for being haunted. I just hope I don't get mugged getting there. The buses don't run through that neighborhood anymore. Well, better get going. Time to go my nice security job. Nothing bad ever happens to security guards in horror games. It's one of the best jobs you can have. Oh man, free hugs. So many missing people lately. Hold up. Oh, damn, can't let me get free hugs, really? I'd rather not read, just bad news. Oh, we're Murphy. We're Robocop. I just realized that. Murphy. That makes it even worse. Now that I realize start what their name is. I don't even think the bus runs down the sun of town anymore. Okay, this is the place we're supposed to go, but I'm gonna go to the right, see if there's any secrets. No. There's never a cop here. This is a big house. Look at the size of the entranceway room. Holy crap. I thought my shift would never end. Gotta say, I don't need you getting the night shift. I swear I can't see this good woman out of the corner. Oh my eye. <laughs> <laughs> Just messing with you. It's been so quiet I fell asleep. The scene is upstairs, along with you. There are some cameras installed. And you'll have to check them every hour. Then from your post. You'll also have to check the premises on the top of every hour. There's a big old grandfather clock in this place that won't have any thoughts in mind you. Just remember, check the cameras on the first bell, and then walk the house on the second bell. Check the cameras on the first bell, and walk the house on the second bell. After that, just relax and enjoy the scene. Take care. I'll see you in 12 hours. Oh, and Murphy, I'm gonna see this one. Don't let this place get to you. Be careful. I did find some evidence of a, a vagrant shacking up here. But I doubt he'll show his face while we are here. Have a good night. Oh boy. So we are uh, a Freddy security guard. That's locked. What's over here? They called. An old phone. It's not hooked up though. Why am I... I can't interact with this, but I see something acting like I can. Just empty shelves, like my soul. Looks like this clock is the only thing that still works in this place. I'm assuming that goes upstairs. Let's go this way. I'm also assuming there might be secrets, or at least not necessarily secrets, but objective items that are hidden, bare minimum. So I'm gonna kind of hug the walls. Probably used to hold expensive china. It's all gone now. Why is there giant? Hits in this house. 
These cabinets are stocked full of roaches and cobwebs. Weird. It's sealed shut. I don't even want to open it. There's a foul stench coming from it. It's the laundry room. Empty. Guess no one does laundry here anymore. What the? A nest of dead rats are inside. Guess those rats won't be making any rules anytime soon. Looks like an old note. I can barely read it. Good thing I found this place. It was about to storm. And if I could sleep in that dumpster again, I was going to lose my mind. That couch looks mighty comfortable compared to what, I, what I've been sleeping on. There's a blank space on the page. And then it continues. Maybe I should have picked the dumpster. Didn't get a wink of sleep. It sounded like someone was stomping around upstairs. Door slamming, laughter. I could have swore before I awoke to scream. That storm is still coming down hard. And I have my knife if anyone tries anything. I'm going to hunker in this corner and wait until dawn. As long as whoever it is stays upstairs, then there won't be any problems. I will admit, I'm scared as hell. So that's the vagrant. That means they were... Check the cameras... At the first bell. I gotta go check the cameras. Let's keep moving. I don't know why, but I don't like this mirror. An old TV. There's a VHS player hooked up to it. Locked. This one is not locked. So I check the cameras. All seems fine. It's not time to check the cameras yet. Our little setup to keep us comfy in this dump. So never note here. It's a note from the boss. Remember Murphy, on top of the first hour, check the cameras when you hear the clock ring again, patrol the house. Do that and try not to fall asleep again. So second bell. Hey, key. That's still locked. Mortis. Locked. Okay, so he doesn't go in any of these. Hey, they called, and I can't really read this tech. I answer. Okay, new area. The couch is in pretty good condition, all things considered. Might take a nap on it later. Nah. It's an old VHS tape. Cool. Read that note in a second. The man needs a good chair. Looks like it faithfully served its duty. Rest in peace, Orange One. Looks like these shelves were recently moved. Don't really have time to mess around with this right now. You certainly do push it back. I've locked myself in this room. It has come down the stairs. I hear it rumbling around in the kitchen down the hall. I know that it knows I'm here. I had accidentally fallen asleep when I suddenly awoke feeling like I was being watched. My eyes adjusted to the dark, and that's when I saw it. Leaning into the doorway, staring directly at me, a grim, terrible smile etched into its face. It was so tall it had to bend down to make it into the doorway. I watched in horror as it placed a bony finger to its parsed lips and whispered to me, Go back to sleep. 
I don't believe I ever will again if I survive this night. I like how the cop is reading it dramatic. Well, he's, he's a security guard. But I like how they're reading it dramatically. <laughs> they find a random note they read it dramatically. They're like a let's player like me. I was just checking these out real quick in case, because they mentioned the kitchen. Let's go play the VHS tape. Hey! I don't know why, but I don't like this mirror. Hi. Good for you. Oh no. Yep. That was a thing. Now what? Hey! What? Nothing in the drawers, but in the mirror I see a ghoul staring back at me, but I think he just needs a nap. And to stop working at night shift. Oh, I see. I guess this is where it happened. Just as I expected. No doorway to a different dimension. Yet. It's an old newspaper from about 15 years ago. There's a picture of this house displayed. Most of it is too faded to read, but there's an eye-catching story on the front page titled Massacre House. At least 20 bodies have been discovered. Children, Men and women, most being found in the basement, which was still shut. Owner of the house, Martha, left it too faded to read. Just those letters about this place were based on something. I'm gonna be honest, this is a bad neighborhood. You got the murder house, you got the massacre house. Um, I'd move out. It just seems like every house here is labeled something bad. Okay, patrol, second bell. Hey! All the crosses! Mortis. Uh... This hole leads to a basement. I think I can see something. Let me take a closer look. Nope! But yes. Oh! Um, you're friendly, right? No. Oh my god! Uh, 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 uh where, where am I? Gah! What? I'm home. Uh, why do I feel so much weaker? Night two. Is it really night two? So you've been watching that house? It's at the end of the street. See anything weird yet? Oh, I bet you have. You'll be lucky to see the next morning. I'll be fine. My name is Murphy. That's a good cop name. Good things always happen to Murphys. See ya. Let me look around, see if anything new is going down. Let's check out the room with the hole in it that was made for me. Yeah, it's still here. Got tape. It's on VHS tape. something break. Let 
can you hear? The whole wall, wait. Crowbar. Nice. See, I can use a crowbar in anything specific. I probably just have to go and use the VHS tape. The Denver text is gone. If they, they called, I answered. And across, well, this is a new area. No, I will not reach my hand in there. Use the curl ball. It's a filthy shower. Gross, and the black hair is clogging. The drain. Who's been showering? On a piece of paper. If you are reading this, please help me. The owner of this house is not what she seems. She has invited me and others into this home, but she is not the kind woman she appears to be. She is a sadist. She has trapped many of us inside, and using the facade that she is a sweet old lady as a disguise to continue her way, please alert the authorities that my name is Ralph Green, and I am being held against my will at 547 McLean Avenue. Please help us. Uh oh. To the cameras. Uh. 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 No. No. Behind the ocean. Like a painting. Here. Wait a second. It looks like there's a small switch behind this painting. Let's see what it does. Before I go in there, let's look at the VHS tape we got and let's check the other rooms. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to an evening edition of News 7. A special investigative report we are doing that features a local urban legend. Tonight, we venture inside the infamous Massacre House and uncover its secrets. Don't go to any house that's called Massacre House and Murder House, I swear to God. With a woman killed and tortured a still as of yet unknown amount of people. The legend says that the victims are still inside the house. Their bodies that was the being the guy that was a uh, look sure I don't like that. I don't think I should have looked. Let's go back in here and check this out now. Marfa. Crap, she's beyond the- You can't- How do you- I knew that would matter. It's all ghost stuff. It doesn't have to make sense. Just as I expected. No doorway to- A, different dimension. It's full of old dusty clothes. Strange, this bed is the only thing in this room that isn't covered in dust because I'm sleeping here. I have been in this room for at least three weeks. No one is coming for me. But it's worth I have heard screams down the corridor. That means others are suffering a fate worse and would wish on my most hated of enemies. There must be something I can do. I have died to the fact that I will not not leave this place alive. If I can create a, a distraction that will attract attention, then maybe I will save others from the same torture that I have been subjected to. I fear I will be the next who is brought down into the basement. No one has ever come back. She keeps the basement door hidden behind shelves to either make sure no one escapes or just to hide. 
secret secret. Hmm. Maybe I should look for this space I already know which shelf it is. Let's get out of here. Boxes of random junk inside. Hmm. Brunei come and chase me as I'm leaving. Maybe bad. Check this out real quick, see if anything new is happening. This one. There's an old stairwell leading to the basement. I should wait for Walt before I go down. Just in case something happens. What is going on up there? Well, whenever the bell rings, you gotta patrol the area. So, all clear, all clear. Let's just go to that evil ghostly smoke. Oh man. How about I don't go that way? Okay, I guess I have to go that way. New room. I feel so much weaker. Night triple. Um, the free hugs place. It's not doing too well. I have a suspicion they don't get free hugs. Hey. Where's our, uh, buddy? Hello? Walt, you here? Now, there is the basement room, but let's go in this other room, because this is the last... This was unlocked now. Take the tape. We saw in the reflection. You'd think we would think like, you know what, I'm not going to do this job anymore. There's like little coincidence and creepy things. This has like gone way past that. What the? Who would have boarded this up? I'll have to find something to get these boards off. I have, I had a crowbar. Do I not have it anymore? A little weird. Well, go check the cameras. Good. What to be bugged? Hey, the uh, door is gone. The door is closed now. There was even a door here in the first place.
Can you imagine? We weren't supposed to be able to pick up the crowbar before. So now it's not there when I need it. What's this one? Maybe it's a new hunting place. Oh, here's a new letter. Started moving towards me. This is not good. Nope. 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 Yep, there's blood in the walls everywhere. Standard work day. Cameras are all blacked out. Hey, it's unlocked. It's full of old dusty clothes. It's all new area. A rusty gurney. Or at least I hope that's a rust. Useless, 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 useless. Medicine cabinet filled with bottles of pills I couldn't begin to pronounce the names to. A few surgical tools. Don't think of any of these. We'll be help get those boards off. A hammer. Exactly what I need. There was a detective asking around the neighborhood today. I don't think he think he suspected me particularly. But I can always be more in the future. Oh god. Empty shelves. Well, let's hammer out this problem. Man, this is such a one-way trip. Oh boy, here we go. Hmm. Can't go to the right where the blood claw marks are. Hole there. Go to the north, I'm assuming. But I want to see the entire layout of the place. Die. No! Hey, help! Okay, if I was stuck. Woo hoo 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 wee. Don't want to get stuck this early in the game. That is the beginning. It's another area. No IV machine. Boxes ram junk inside. She is dead, but she is still here. She is nice. Not nice. Very long room. That bothers me. Let's go to the north entrance we saw earlier first, because maybe that room is so long that might be the final area. Because maybe we can find something of use. It's an old torture rack. I can't imagine how many people have it's been an agonizing amount of time here. Why is this still dripping blood? Oh no, Walt. My god. These corpses must have been here for a long time. An Iron Maiden. 
It's caked in raw and gore and dried blood. I couldn't imagine being in that thing. All alone in a place like this. A chair with straps for imprisoning someone. Okay, so the far left room is the... This is the final room. That's why it's stretched along. That's also why it's telling us to die. It's kind of, it's kind of being literal. Uh. He's just standing there. A smile carved into his face and two black holes for eyes. I answer. Death. Voices beyond. Die. There's a key in its mouth. We're leaving. That thing that was there is gone, but we're leaving, so it doesn't matter. Do 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 <laughs> Do, 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 leave, leave with the key, never come back. Yeah, that's why we're not smart. Okay, go in this room. Whatever this room is. We couldn't go in here before it blocked us out. You were right. There is something about this place. Walter, what are you doing here? Walt, no! Oh crap. She's here. Yeah, I think I know she's here. I answer. Ah! I'm home again. But something doesn't feel right. You're covered in blood? It's full of old dusty clothes. Must be broken no water. You have a sink in your bedroom? We never left. <gasps> no! So I guess that's it for the summoning. I don't think there was a good ending. It didn't seem like there was any avenues for that. Because as we tried to run to the exit, we literally got sucked into the basement. I could be wrong though. Maybe there is a good ending hidden somewhere. But overall, a creepy, if not somewhat, um, kind of a schlocky comedic. Not like a haha -ha funny comedic, but like a, when you watch an old 80s horror movie comedic to me. Just with the overtopness of like how bad the situation is. I mean, we're named Murphy. And we're, well, we're security guard, but we're basically a cop. And I just, you just see the writing on the wall. Like, nothing, nothing good's gonna happen to Murphy. You know what happens to Murphy. Maybe one of these days, like one of these Halloweens, we'll have something good happen to Murphy. Like, instead of Murphy getting stuck in situations like these, or becoming Robocop, he just goes home and he has a, a nice dinner with his family, and things work out. <laughs> a deconstruction of the Murphy being a cop trope. Anyway. So thank you all for watching Play of the Summoning. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.